Now that we have a little practice with formulas under our belt, let's look at how to create one with a cell reference. This is really the power of Excel when you start to create formulas that interact and are built upon your worksheet data. For instance, I have up here on my screen the SW Inc. sales. And notice that over here we need to calculate the tax for the sale of the item. Let's say that the sales tax is 7.2%. To calculate that, I need to go ahead and reference the sale here in column E and apply the sales tax to that to figure out what that tax amount is. So I'll go ahead and create a formula by typing in equals and then I will go ahead and come over here and click on E4. This will reference E4 or the data that's in E4. Then I want to multiply that times the sales tax of 0 0.072, which is how 7.2% translates into a decimal. When I press enter, this will calculate my tax on this item. Now I can come over here to my total sales and say okay I need to add what the sale of the product or the product amount is plus the tax for the total sales price. So I'll go ahead and type in an equal sign then click on E4 and add F4 to that by clicking on F4. And again, when I press enter, this will calculate the total sales price of my product, including the taxed amount. Now, you know how to fill information within a column from existing data. We're going to go ahead and copy or fill this formula all the way down in our worksheet so that it calculates the total sales price for all the data in the worksheet. So I'll go ahead and highlight F4 to G4 and then clicking over here on the dot in the lower right hand corner which is the fill handle and dragging all the way down to the bottom of my worksheet where the data exists it will then calculate the sales tax and then adding both the sales price to the sales tax I will get my total sales amount. For our project we're going to go ahead and apply this to our sales monthly worksheet. And what I'd like you to do is open up the file 0805 start file. This is a file that we will start with for this chapter and use throughout the remainder of this chapter. So go ahead and select that or open that from the Excel 2007 course directory. In the Chapter 8 directory, you will find the 0805 start file. And then go ahead and save that as sales under slash monthly and save it in your Chapter 8 directory in your Excel 2007 directory. So I'll go ahead and save that. And notice that on here, and this should look familiar, we developed a lot of this previously in the tutorial, but we have a list of all of our Raspberry Brigade products as well as a quantity that was sold for week one. And notice we're set up for week one with a worksheet, week two, week three, week four, and monthly totals. Let's go ahead and calculate what the sales amount will be by taking the quantity that was sold times the sale price to give us a total sale price. So let's again start this off as a formula by typing equals and then click on B8 so that we're referencing B8 as our cell reference in the formula and then we want to multiply it so we'll use the asterisk or the multiplication sign and then we want to multiply it times the sales price which here for rosy raspberry muffins is $1.25. When I enter this formula you'll see that $10 was made off of selling eight rosy raspberry muffins at a sales price of $1.25. Now let's go ahead and fill this formula for all of our data in this first week of sales. So I'll go ahead and drag the fill handle all the way down to cell E3 
36 and this will calculate all the sales that were made the total sales price by product for the first week in our sales monthly worksheet go ahead and save this file and we will move on to the next movie